Hi everyone, we are on reducing balance loans part three and I'm going to begin with page four, this example right here. So I'm going to read the information and highlight important um, points um, as you should be doing when you're doing an exam question or a SAT question as well. So it says once by a dress shop, she borrows $15,000 at 8.5% per annum, um, and she can afford quarterly repayments of this value over five years, okay? Now it says one third of the quarterly repayment gives an equivalent monthly value of this. So if she wants to pay monthly, she can pay this much, or if she chooses to pay fortnightly, um, she can pay this value. As you can see, she can choose to pay um, once every three months, so quarterly, for about 900 and something dollars, or if she wants to pay monthly, that's technically a third of that amount there. Okay. Or alternatively, if she wants to pay fortnightly, um, that'll just be pretty much half of that, just a little under half of that, of that value. Um, so she's got some options here and we're going to see what difference it makes if she changes her, rep um, repayment frequency. So for the monthly and fortnightly conditions, we're going to find the duration of the loan and the amount still owing before the last payment. Okay, so let's start off with monthly first. So um, to find the term of the loan, obviously we want to find N. Anything that is to do with the time or duration of the loan or how long a loan is, is going to be, your, your friend's going to be N right here. So we're gonna, that's where we're going to hit enter and we're going to fill in the rest of the information. So obviously 8.5% is your interest rate. Your present value is $15,000. Your payment, now remember because we're doing reducing balance loan, it's going to be a negative value. And as it says up on the information on top, the monthly, oh, let's write that down as well. The monthly um, repayment is 309.28. So we're going to fill that in 309. 28. We're going to set the future value to zero because we want to know how long it'll take for us to pay the um, loan out in full, uh, completely. PPY and CPY, because it's monthly, okay, it's going to be 12, 12 times a year. So we're just going to hit enter there and the answer for N should be 59.5825. Okay, so what is the term of the loan in actual, you know, time? It's 59.58 repa um, repayments, which is approximately 60 repayments or 60 months. Okay, and 60 months is equivalent to five years, maybe just a little bit under five years, because as you know, as you can see, this is not exactly... Um, 60 months, it's just a little bit under, but within five years time um, or 50, 50, 60 repayments later, the whole loan would have been paid off. Now, the thing that you need to look out for here is if the end looks something like this, what it's saying is that you need to pay 59 repayments of that value. And then there's going to be a little bit left over. Okay. And that is the amount we need to look for in our next question. We want to find that the amount still owing before the last repayment. So we have 59 repayments of 309.28, and then we have a final repayment, which is going to be obviously a lesser amount. Okay, and we're going to work out what that is. To work that out, what we're going to do is we're going to once again use our finance solver, and we're going to see how much we still owe after paying 59 repayments. And to do that, we're going to set our N to 59. Everything else pretty much stays the same. The repayment's the same, 30928. Um, PPY and CPY are both 12 and we're going to hit enter in future value because we want to know how much we still owe after 59 repayments of that. So just before the last repayment, how much do we still owe in principle? So Hit enter and you should get a future value of $179.27. Okay. This does not include interest, by the way. It's just how much you, you are owing by the time you pay your 59th repayment. We cool with that? All right. Let's move on to the um, 
second um, one. So we're going to do fortnightly now. So I'm just going to write fortnightly there just to remind myself what I'm doing. And if we're doing fortnightly repayments and we want to find out the term of the loan, obviously term means we have to hit enter here. Got to fill in everything else. Pretty much the same, $8.5, $15,000 loan. The only thing that changes is because we're doing fortnightly, the PPY and CPY is going to change to um, 26 times a year, 26 fortnights a year. Payment, okay, your repayments is going to be 142.84. Okay, it's a different figure. So we're going to go negative 142.84. And future value is going to be at zero because we want to know how long it'll take to pay off this loan. So I'm going to hit enter and your N should be 128.8471, which is approximately 129 fortnights, which is approximately 129 divided by 26 fortnights a year, which would give you 4.96 years, which really is still approximately five years. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, now, as for the second part, how much do we still owe after, before, so prior to the last repayment? Well, our last repayment would be the 129th repayment. The payment before that would be 128. So we're going to set our end to 128. Everything else stays the same. You'll be doing this on your calculator, obviously. There's no need to like manually input it. Um, I'm just showing you what to do here. 26, 26, and we're going to hit enter in future value because we want to see how much we still owe after making 128 full repayments of the amount specified. Now, once we hit enter, we find that our future value or the amount we still owe is $120.64, rounded to the nearest cents. Okay. And that's that example there.